Welcome back everyone to my Shrewsbury Town career on FM16. Up next, we've got Newcastle United at St. James's Park in the FA Cup fourth round. What a fixture this is going to be. Cannot wait to get things going. But first, just want to quickly recap our previous fixtures. So, in the last episode, we beat Warsaw in the third round to get through to the fourth round of the FA Cup, obviously. But in the league, we were at home against Barnsley. We won 3-2 there. A really good result. James Collins, Lana Cole, Junior Brown all getting on the score sheet for us. And, of course, a go-go. Picking up a yellow card in that game. Very close to getting sent off, actually. But you'll see that we scored all three goals in the first half. But in the second half, Barnsley, I really did think a comeback was on for them. As they got two goals in quick succession. But we did well to hold our ground and get the three points on the day. Up next, we played Oldham at the Greenhouse. We won 2-1. All three goals being scored in the late stages of that game. Jordan Clark really digging deep to find those two goals, being in the right place at the right time. And then we were away against Burton, the team that I beat for the first... That's the first competitive game I won in charge of Shrewsbury, which was at home against Burton, which ended 1-0. And we, uh, we beat them 2-1 this time. They did look as though they were more up for the challenge this time around. But we came away with the three points there. So completely unbeaten in our last three games. James Collins getting two more goals there. And you can see we are in third. A point behind Millwall and Coventry. It is just looking so amazing for us at the moment. Just to think we're being tipped to be relegated. At the start of the season and even the boards wanted me to avoid relegation but look where we are and look at James Collins as well. I did say at the start of the season I wanted to get him scoring so I feel as I've really achieved something there as his top goal scorer so far in the league with 17 goals. He has scored 18 overall. What a superb season he is having and I, I just know he's going to go from strength to strength really and carry on with this form. Alright let's have a look at Newcastle's recent form then because we have got them next so... They have just lost two games in a row. First one being against Manchester United. The next one being against Tottenham. So they could be a bit deflated heading into this game. But then again, they are playing at home. They've won the most important of games, which is the smaller teams. They've beaten their rival Sunderland. They've beaten Liverpool. It's what you need to do in the league. And they sit in eighth, a point behind Swansea in sixth. I don't see them getting up into fifth or fourth now. It's out of reach for them, without a doubt. But look at Perez. He's the top goal scorer in the league this season. He's really uh, run away with that. So James Collins and Perez coming up against each other. Should be an interesting battle. Both got, well, the, the same amount of goals, really, in their season. So let's have a look at who's been performing the most for them. Carl Darlow, well, he's only had two appearances there. Perez, of course, Torvin, Williamson. It's going to be interesting to see if these key players for Newcastle will actually start against us. Whether they, they really value... I suppose they do. They, they do value the FA Cup, don't they, Newcastle? Right, it's a close call, but I've got to go for Newcastle today. Shrewsbury will give it everything, but Newcastle should come out victorious in the end. All eyes will be on Perez and Luke Whaler. As a superbly talented forward sets his sights on one of the better goalkeepers at this level. Okay, we could be on for a giant kill in here today. Shrewsbury Town, a League One side, are going up against the Premier League team, Newcastle, who have just recently lost two games in a row. They do start with Alden, Perez, and Torvin, De Jong. It's a very, very strong Newcastle side. Anita at right back. Williamson, oh my words. Cruel starts in goal. This is my lineup. Got Collins, Cole. I've just gone for the best team I could go with, even if fitness was a bit of an issue for one or two players. We're going to have to be on top of our game to keep Perez quiet as well today, if he's their top goal scorer and the top goal scorer in the Premier League as well. Keep that in mind. What a game this is going to be. Come on, lads. Let's have a good reaction from Team Talk. Want you to pick up. Nobody expects us. No pressure on the team today. Imagine if we can beat Newcastle. How amazing that would be. It's going to be so difficult. I know. But we're going to give it our, our everything. That's it. Putting Wijnaldum under pressure. I want to have extended highlights for this game as well. So I feel as though it's, it's such an important fixture in our season. 
Plus, this is going to give me an opportunity. Well, it's going to give me an idea, anyway, of where we can stand against the Premier League side. Sissoko, he's offside, thankfully. Where we stand, really, and how we can perform against the Premier League side. So, if we was to get promoted this season into the Championship, or well, we've got an attack here. Too tall into the box, crawl. Oh, I was hoping Collins was just going to toe peck that into the back of the net. Would have been a really good start, but the attack is still going strong here. Clark. A go-go yet to pick up a yellow card. He will, though. Wally, let's have a good quality cross. We've got a corner here. Oh, come on, town. Lana Cole. Come on, chase it down, a go-go. Come on, what are you wasting time for? Cole surrounded by players. Always oh, beating them. Wally, come on. Oh, I just feel something special coming here. Might see, oh, that's going to be another throw. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, if we was to get promoted from the Championship up into the Premier League, obviously I'm going to be strengthening my side with the, the money that will win from that. And there we go, a go-go on a yellow card. I knew it was coming. Oh, we've got a corner. Collins. Shoot. Cole. Oh, he's lost out to an eater there, but still got it. Still whips the ball in. Torvin breaking. Tootle in the way with a great interception. Here's Perez now. Stick with Perez. He's going to just be playing off the shoulder there. Our defenders. Wijnaldum. Come on, close him down. Well done. Well done. Great block. We're on the move. Collins just can't get to the ball. He was slightly overhit there. That overhit pass from Cole to Collins. I think we're, we're doing well so far. Especially at the back. I mean, it's, they have scored, but it's offside from Torvin. We really are controlling it now. Let's be calm. Let's tighten up at the back. Try not to let them through. I mean, it's going to be almost impossible to stop them from doing it. Oh, my. Where did that come from? Pick that one out. Jack Colback with an absolute screamer for Newcastle. They're 1-0 up now with 32 minutes gone. Anita found De Jong and just look at Cole back hanging around just outside the, oh what a goal it's like a De Canio sort of volley that superb superb from Newcastle I think it's fair to say they kind of deserve that but we've had our fair share of chances as well struck straight at Luke Whaler okay we can't let that get us down it's only a goal at the moment. We can still get back into this. We are heading into half time. I'm not worried just yet. We can still get something out of this. Maybe take it into a replay. That will obviously get us some money as well for our finances. Taking it back home. All right, let's have a good team talk. Let's get them fired up. Shall I be? Nah, I don't think it'd be wise to be aggressive. Keep going out there. You can still win today. No. You've been unlucky so far. Okay, players looking to gain confidence. Being a bit relaxed. They need confidence. Especially having to play in front of 50 odd thousand here at St. James's Park. They're not used to it. Shrewsbury Town. Not yet anyway. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll be in the Premier League. Hopefully it's going to be sooner rather than later. We're controlling the game at the moment. This is really good. Really good start to the... Uh, the second half, a go-go finds Colt. On for Brown. Oh, he went for goal. Oh, where is where is Collins? Where is Collins? He should be... That's two opportunities now where he should be just toe-pecking the ball into the back of the net after failings from uh, from Tim Crawl. Right, I'm going to take Collins off. Let's bring on that Prat Pro. I think his instincts will be a little bit sharper now for this next 45. Let's see what we can do. See if we can have him in that, that area, in that six-yard box. I mean, if we're going to be testing Crawl like that, and if he's not going to be saving the ball, you know, we need someone in there to be putting the ball into the back of the net. That's two chances. We could be 2-1 two two up now. And Perez goes for goal. Straight Luela. Okay. Come on, town. Pass the hour mark now. Akprak Pro offside. Newcastle looking to press now for that second goal. And I reckon if they, they get that second goal, it could be 
the game right there. It could be all over. But here we go. That was poor from Brown. Not sure he, who he was looking for. Not sure why he's playing it down the channel either. Perez. Sissoko. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Thankfully, Knight Perceval was there to just, yeah, get rid of it. Even though we have conceded a corner. Nothing comes of it. Perez out deep. And that's going to be another corner for Newcastle. Can we withstand this? Oh my god, Wally, what are you doing, son? It's another corner. Sitting on the edge of my seat here at the moment. No, no, no. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that's not a penalty. I just had a feeling the referee's going to give something that. Come on, close him down. Win the ball back. You can do this, lads. Again, straight Luke Whaler. They're getting desperate now, Newcastle. They want to get a goal. Make it 2-0. Cold to a go-go. Yes! Yes! Oh, it's 1-1. No way. There's loads of appeals for offside from Newcastle. Oh, my God. Cole slips that through for a go-go. Takes the touch. Oh, as cool as you like. Bottom corner. Beats Crawl. And we're right back in it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We could be... On for a giant killing. How amazing would that be? Clark. Brown. Let's get a second. Agpa. Oh, he's hit the side netting. Oh, man. I can feel something coming here now for Shrewsbury Town. The game is level when it comes to possession. Oh, no. Come on, Wijnaldum. He really does get things ticking over nicely for Newcastle. But we've kind of stifled them here at their own ground. Well done. Oh, no. An album. I've gone and jinxed it. Oh. It's two on to Newcastle. You know, something something was coming for Newcastle. I mean, they wasn't just going to sit back on their laurels and let us keep attacking them. See if we can make a change here. I'll take off Clark. I mean, every every highlight we've seen of Clark, he seems to be doing well, but... His average uh, rating is not the best. So I'll bring on Wes. Push a go-go to the uh, the left side. Our goal scorer. Come on, there's still time. Can we take this into a replay? Think of the money as well that we'll win from that. Let's go route one. You know what? I'm just going to gonna go for it. Pump ball into the box. Exploit those flanks. They seem to be slightly weaker down there. We're not getting much luck through the middle. You know, with Wijnaldum and Cole back there. Um, right, I think that will do it for now. Come on then. Just over 10 minutes to go. Let's hit them on the counter. Stay there. Yep. Tootle with the throw. We've got a highlight here. Could we be on for an equaliser? Oh, Akpa. That was a terrible first touch. Just giving the ball away. So freely, but we've won it back. Look how quick we're moving the ball around. Pinball. I like it. Nice one-twos all over the pitch. Uh, go, go. Being a standout player today in central midfield. And Akpa. Dear, oh dear. I think he's going to have to work on those first touches. Whether off his head or his, his boots. Perez. Been poor today. You know, considering that he's their top goal scorer and the top goal scorer in the Premier League. His shots have been poor. Hasn't even gotten the score sheet either. Here we go, Akpa. Oh my god, where's the finish? Wally looking for that far post. Brown. Oh, Cole's offside. Of course he is. Of course he's offside. Could have been our only chance now to get an equaliser. And here come Newcastle again. De Jong. Gufran. Straight Luke Whaler. He's done well. Luke Whaler has done really well. Even though he's conceded those two goals. That's a poor pass in the end from Cole. Right, let's see if we can... Let's play it wider. Good challenge. Out to Cole. Akpert needed support there from Cole, but... Oh, no! Oh, my God. What a save from Luke Whaler. Horrible back pass. Causes so much trouble there. That's far from Wes. That's going to be the game, surely. Unless there's one final moment for Shrewsbury Town. Akpert just not quick enough to get to the ball. It's Dummett that does first. Wouldn't it be amazing if Crawl messed up here now? 
like slipped on the ball. Akpa pounced in. Boom, to all. <laughs> Would be sensational. I don't think I'd be able to contain myself. It'd certainly be one of the better moments I've had whilst playing any football manager if we were to get an equaliser in the next couple of minutes. Come on town. We can do this. Ellis. Going through the middle. I've asked them to... F oh, for crying out loud. Is he playing that? He's trying to sabotage our game. Just because he hasn't been getting first team football lately. I've decided to put him in at the deep end for this game. Ronaldo, Francis Oko, good challenge. And again, we can't find that crack pro. Ooh, Perez offside. We've kept him quiet. I'm really happy with how we've done with uh, when it comes to Perez. I know we've conceded those two goals, but Perez has been kept quiet. He hasn't scored at all. He's been well and truly kept in the back pocket of um, Grandison. And Knight Perceval. Cole out to Tootle. Oh, just looking for a quality cross into the box. I'm sure it would have been. Gets another opportunity. Cole! Oh my god, I thought that was in. I really did think that was in. I don't believe it. Krull taking his time is... They're looking to waste time now. They know that if we get a sniff of goal, that we're going to make it count. That's going to be it. We're at the FA Cup. Unless we can hit them on the counter in just a couple of seconds. Oh no. No, that's going to be it. Yeah, there we go. Newcastle 2, Shrewsbury Town 1. Yeah, of course, it's a bit disappointing, a bit unfortunate really. But you know, this team gave it their all. They did so well, I think. Coming to a Premier League side, really giving them a challenge. You know, we saw 48% of the ball. We had eight shots, two on target. And Luke Whaley, even though he conceded two goals, it was just that lack of concentration with our defenders that I think cost us those. I think we, um, if we had them at home, if we had them at the Green Eyes, I think we might have got the result that we were looking for. Look at this. Barnsley have beaten Manchester United. They're a team from League One. Shame it's them that are doing the giant killing instead of us. That's so unfortunate. United are out. Shrewsbury Town are out the fourth round. We gave it our all. We showed brilliant fighting spirit, really. To grab a goal back, get that equaliser from a go-go. Fantastic. So now that we're unfortunately out of the FA Cup, we've only got one thing to play for, and that's promotion to the Championship. I'm going to go ahead now and play this chunk of games, and in the next episode, I will obviously recap over those games and how we got on and do a live comp for that fixture against Port Vale. Bit of an important one, that. And then we'll see how we get on for the rest of the season. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you all soon for the next one.